Hi everybody, it's Casey Williams. I love this time of year. Taking your friends and family to apple orchards and pumpkin patches, and we have the perfect vehicle to do that with. It's the 2023 Mazda CX-50. Let's go have a look at it. Recent Mazda style has been more flowing, Italian, very elegant. But what I like about the CX-50, it looks a little more Subaru Outback perhaps, but it looks a little more rugged. Definitely looks like it could go across a pumpkin patch and, and make hay. But I like the styling a lot. You know, it's got Mazda's grill, the recent traditional grill. I like, it. I like it in black. I like it on the vehicle where it's done. The ledge here, LED headlamps. And just, you know, kind of the way Mazda's been designed, I like this too. It's kind of the way the hood kind of wraps over. It just, it just looks like it's kind of folded fabric and I think looks really very nice. With the plastic wheel wells. And I really like kind of the beefiness of the design. I like the accentuated fenders, front and rear. Looks really good. You know, size-wise, it looks like it's about the size of the CX-5. It's actually not. It's based on the CX-30 architecture, a little bit smaller. Um, but it does give you an impression of being a very large crossover. Again, I, I really like this form here in the back. I like the way it's creased. I like how it kind of bulges out, comes over the wheel. Looks really nice. Those are 20-inch alloy wheels, so they are pretty big tires. Come around back again. Everything is just really clean, very well integrated, very nicely styled. Power hatch. And coming inside, pretty big cargo area. You can definitely, you know, anything you buy at the farm, you're going to be able to get that in here okay. And if you need a little more space, pull the lever here, seats go down, another one here as well. So very easy to extend the luggage compartment. If you want to put bicycles in or other gear or baby strollers, that's all very easy to get in here too. Mazda does interiors almost better than anybody, especially in an affordable vehicle. I and mean, look at the interior. I like this a lot. Everything you touch, pretty much everything is padded. I like the stitching on the dash. It just feels very upscale, feels very designed, very intricately done. I like that a lot. And even you like the air vents here. You know, there's, there's, you know, there's a little strike across here and the air vents just neatly integrated into it, just fits right in these as well. I like that a lot. And there's a lot of under, other understated style in here too. You know, the climate controls, instead of having some great big things sticking out of the dash, they're just kind of tucked in here real neat, dual zone automatic climate. I like that too. Up above the infotainment screen, real classy, just almost an art piece up there and connects to the jewel wheel here in the console. But some of the things I really like, the heated and ventilated seats. And I like this color, I like this kind of adobe color here. I think it's really classy, real pretty. Again, with the baseball stitching down the middle. I mean, this is something that would have been in a BMW 7 Series years ago with kind of the opening console like this. Works out really well. You got wireless phone charging here. There's a slot. Um, also has wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Very easy to connect everything. Bose audio system, sounds good. Dual pane sunroof up above, like that as well. He did a leather wrapped steering wheel. And on the safety front, you've got a heads up display projected over the hood. You've got adaptive cruise, automatic emergency braking in the front, lane keep assist, blind spot warning, and rear cross path detection with auto brake. So the full suite of safety gear there, too. One of the things I generally like about Mazdas, too, is just the way they drive and handle. You know, the steering is just very firm, the suspension, just very athletic, and just really like the way they drive. You know, it feels a little bit Italian, but it, it also kind of feels Japanese in the way it's just really solid and, and well built. Uh, and this is no exception. Um, you know, as I, as I told you earlier, you know, this is based on the smaller architecture, basically the Mazda 3 and the CX-30 architecture. And that means instead of having a fully independent suspension in the rear, like the CX-5, it has a torsion beam. But if I hadn't told you that, you would never be able to figure it out from behind the wheel. It just, it just really is really well behaved. And the powertrain is also very well behaved. So this has a 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine, delivers 227 horsepower and 310 pound feet of torque. So plenty of power, this has all wheel drives, you can certainly get through the inclement weather, um, but plenty of power to move a you know, compact, almost mid-sized crossover down the interstate or through hills. And you know, we're talking about going up to Pumpkin Patch and, and, and going through the field. So that all wheel drive and the increased ride height will come in handy there too. Fuel economy is really good, 23 miles per gallon in the city, 27 on the highway, and uh, I think I think yeah, you know, you get in the vehicle, get on the road, and drive it. I think you'll really enjoy it. So I guess the final thing to consider about the CX-50 is price. Well, the CX-50 starts about 27.5. This one fully equipped, $43,920, and at that price, I think it's really good competition for the Ford Escape, for the Subaru Forester, and vehicles like that. Well, next week we'll run the fun car. Till then, storm forward.